Okay, here's a nice uh, day for another stove test. So I got all my 111s here. So this is the original 111, and it uh, burns kerosene. It'll also burn white gas. So that's the original. Very nice. Oops. This is his brother, the 111B. 111B is a similar design, Roar Burner, and it's uh, designed for white gas. Followed by the 111C. 111C has got a Cobra burner. It's set up as a multi fuel, it'll burn white gas, kerosene, diesel, and uh, alcohol within a restrictor. And the 111T, which is similar, but it has. Uh, it's also a triple fuel, that's why the T comes from, where it doesn't burn diesel, although, you know, it might. Even the C on diesel isn't very, very good. Diesel's an ugly fuel. So these are silent burners, these last two. The originals were Roarer burners. The Roarer burners have a little more power. So we're going to do a, you know, we're going to do a test with both of these. We'll race the uh, B, the B, and the original 111 and we'll race the C and the T and we'll see how they do. Thank you. So these are silent burners and that's one of the nice features about them actually. They're very nice stoves and they simmer well. So uh, And the interesting piece is that the the C has opposite controls to the T, so they actually work well together. So the other week I showed the 22B, and the 22B is a lovely stove. You can put two of these together and have a similar kind of a setup, and they also have a nice quiet burner. So let's just let them get to a little heat here. These are both running on white gas right now, but you can run them on kerosene just as easily. Again, we're going to time two cups of water. Okay, we'll come back when it's boiling. We're coming on to two minutes. Um, this tea is starting to bubble. If you take a look at the flame, you'll see that the flame of the T is a little bit greater than the B. And the B here is also uh, a little further from the pot than the T over here. So, here we go, we're at the uh, minutes 20 seconds and that's well boiled the tea well boiled the C well she's just starting to think about it so now that wasn't even close this tea is a uh, it started to boil in about two minutes and five seconds so that's uh that's pretty good timing take that off
So surprisingly, today, kerosene, first place, that's been quite normal. The surprise to me was that this tea actually boiled a little bit faster, or about the same, as the bee. Um, so that's an interesting result. All good stoves, all variants. Um, I wanted to show one thing about this tea now that it's cooled down a little bit. Uh, the tea comes in a couple of variants. This control uh, arm is the better control arm. They also have a very simple one like this. This one has the jet removal tool which you need for this design. They also, most of them come with just an o-ring in the pump and I've replaced all of mine. I've got two of these with the leather pump. That leather pump is much better in cold weather. The o-ring pump uh, doesn't really work that well in cold weather but you do have to keep that boiled up. All of these are great stoves. They're all brothers and sisters to one another. Um, Probably my favorite of the whole clan, I'm glad I've got two of them when they were selling them in army surplus places, is this tea. Um, very versatile stove, quiet, powerful, burns kerosene, gasoline, and with the restrictor alcohol. Great little stove, 111 tea. But they're all great. The C, if I move that jet, this guy here, if I play with the jets, I'm sure I'll get the same sort of power as these other guys. But that M jet, it's just a little small for gasoline. It's designed for both gasoline and kerosene without changing the jets. Uh, actually works better with kerosene, this, uh, this C, as it's set up. So that's a little uh, speed test of the 111 family. It's a great family of stoves. Too bad uh, they don't make them anymore. They do make a Hiker Plus, but I don't think it's really part of this family. There's brass, steel, uh, great. Great design. Thanks for watching.